Hey guys, Long and Truck here, and welcome back to the Simpsons Season 28 reviews. And today we're here with the newest Simpsons episode. Sorry, I'm a bit late on this, I've been a bit busy with real life and all that. But, we're here with Looking for Mr. Goodbart. Or aka, as it was previously known before the actual episode comes out, the Pokemon Go episode. Yep, this is the episode where Pokemon Go gets a parody. Now, before I start on the actual video episode itself, I do want to say this. I understand that people are like, Ugh, come on, Simpsons. Pokemon Go is gone now, you know? Do you guys realize how long a Simpsons episode probably, you know, how long it gets to get made? Just one single episode? It probably take like months. So probably by the time they confirmed they were making a Pokemon Go episode, you know, Months and months, you know, in production and animation and voice acting and all that. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's a bit off, but it, this isn't like South Park where they can do like every week and make a new one, you know? But yeah, um, yeah, so I do admit that, like, I definitely will give it a pass that they are doing it now. So yeah, I will give it that. But basically, the, the, that surprisingly, this whole Pokemon Go thing is actually the subplot. The main plot is actually this. The main plot is that after Bart, you know, misbehaves again in school, Principal Skinner tries to think of a punishment for him until his mother, Agnes, comes in and Skinner decides to make Bart walk her to the to the, the bus. Bart actually likes, likes hanging out with old women because they'll treat him, so he decides to be like a grandson to all those grand, the grannies out there and, you know, he's really only using them just so he can get some expensive stuff. But until one woman comes and calls Feeble, I think, I don't know, Feline? I don't know, I forgot what the national name of this woman is. Then she comes in and she's kind of catching on to Bart's ways. But soon Bart starts to realize, you know, that old women should not be used for the sit, you know, for treats and, and actually treat them, like, respect respectfully. And now I'm just going with the Pokemon Go world. Here's just a subplot. There's also there's a new game called Pokemon Git, which seems to be taking Springfield and like over fire. Like literally everyone's playing it, and Homer starts to get addicted to it. But it actually does sort of leads up to the main plot and later in the episode when the the woman who helped made Bart realize that women should not be old women should not be used to get you know expensive gifts goes missing. Well, Pokemon at least decide to use the Pokemon Git players to look around, you know, to help to help find her. And yeah, there is a few things. Uh, this episode actually has a good. The, the main plot is actually has a bit of a more human side to Bosh in this episode. And the Pokemon Git go plot so plot, uh, it's not great. It actually has a lot of funny moments, especially when Homer's like looking for one. And he actually starts dancing on Frank Grimes' grave, and then suddenly you see a barrage of other characters coming in with their versions of God. And when every time they get a Pokemon, to even Mo's, you know, s small ex girlfriend, and even Chum comes in for appearance. And yeah, it's it's an actual funny episode. I do admit, I did laugh. This also marks the episode to mark the 30th anniversary of the series when it first premiered in the Tracy Ullman shorts. That's why I noticed in the opening, they do show a bit of the segment of Maggie from the very first Simpsons short, Good Night. It's really nothing more hate, kind of more clear animation. And then we get a, a Big Bang Theory couch gag. Okay, I, I, I don't watch Bang, Big Bang Theory, but whatever. Overall, I actually do like this episode. It actually is a funny episode. It got a good plot, and I can give I can give the Pokemon Go thing a bit of slack because you know Simpsons episodes do take a while to be made, so I can't excuse that you know why people would be like, why do it now? Yeah, so I I I actually recommend you guys to watch. I actually recommend this episode. Like, it's not the greatest episode of The Simpsons, but it has a good comedy in my opinion. So we're only down to two more episodes left for Season 28, Mobile House, and then Dogtown. I know that Mobile House will be coming out this... Uh, yeah, Mobile House. Mobile House will be coming out this Sunday, and then two weeks' time will be the Dogtown, which is the Season 28 finale. So yeah, I'll begin to those when I can, when the episodes come out. But until then, I'll see you guys 
in the next Simpsons review and probably later on this week with the last part of the spy event with the Yakuza boss, the Simpsons tap out. I'll see you guys when I can. See you guys later.